Today is Friday the 8th of June 2018. This is a video on Health One version 8.6, which will be distributed in the near future. And in this video, we're talking about using Health Mail for sending letters in Health One. So you should be able to, with this version, easily send a letter, for example, a quick letter via Health Mail to another uh, doctor who has Health Mail or a Health Mail compatible email. You can also send the entire patient file to another practice uh, by health mail, either a health one practice as a HCR or a non-health one practice as a PDF file. To do this, you must first have a health mail email address, and this is the address uh, that you should get onto to get them, and remember these very quick. You also have to have health one version 8.6. Here I have a patient file open, Joan Baez. I'm going to run. Template. This time I'll run quickly, but it can be any template, and I have the letter open, and I can play around with the letter and uh, insert my digital signature as well, by the way. And to send it by email, you click on this button up at the top left. In order to do this, you must be opening the let the Quicklet with your um, Health One text editor. If you're using Microsoft Word, there is no button here for sending the email. So if you click on this button, you'll see that you can send this document by health mail. And once it's set up, you have the health one dialog here in order to uh, send the letter. This is the letter here. Uh, and I can type in any email address I like, but it has to be a health mail address, seeing as I'm sending it by health mail. Or I can click on the to button and this opens up an address book which is a health one address book which when you get it may well be empty this one is filled up with a lot of names from the Munster locality that I have filled out so I'm going to send this letter to uh, Rory O'Driscoll uh, at health mail this one here and I have the letter here I can see the letter by just clicking on this button what's in the letter just to display it to make sure that I'm happy with it and yes I'm happy with that and I'm going to send this letter off now I can send an email I can type dear doctor or whatever I like in the body of the email but likewise I can click on this button here and I can insert various templates which you can make up yourself so I could insert this first one which says by clicking this button dear doctor I would be grateful if you would see this patient and Health One will take the patient's name and the patient's date of birth for me. So I click on this button and it inserts this directly in here. So these can be configured by the user. Likewise, I can insert not only the uh, Quicklet doc, doc, uh, document, I can also insert other stuff using this down arrow here from a transaction. So this is a list of all the patient's transactions. Let's say I wanted to send a few lab results from the patient file. Then you can choose them from this list. First of all, you can right click on any one of them and display the content of that transaction. So I know that this is a blood sugar 8.4. So yeah, I want to send that one. And I'll right click on the second one and see what's in there. Yeah, I want to send the HbA1c as well. So I will send those two transactions and click OK. And I have then those two transactions in there as a PDF file. Not only that, but I can also send previous hospital reports uh, or any other uh, uh, archive documents from the patient's file by clicking not on the list of transactions here, but the list of documents. So this is a list of all the documents in the patient file. So if there was a letter from a consultant, I could uh, go in here, right click on it and view it. Likewise, I could equally send a picture that I have inserted into the patient file. Again, I can right click and display the contents of that picture before I send it. And I can see the picture and I can click OK and that picture goes in as well. Now, before I finally send this email, I can again click here and I can see which one would I like to view. So I can view the skin or I can view any of the documents there before I send it. 
now I sent the email and uh, health one will send this email now health one uh, will uh, has a facility only to send the emails it does not have a facility to receive the emails or keep track of the emails so this was sent it is not certain at this stage whether the, the recipient received it but that is true of any email you send I'll exit that and I get a, a new item in health one document sent to Royal Driscoll at this email address on this date. So Health One has recorded the fact that you sent this email. Likewise, you can open an existing archive document, which is this one here. This is um, going to be opened by the Health One text editor. I know that because of this little icon here. So if I double click on that, I can do the same thing and just send it via Health May. In some sites, these documents uh, are not opened by the Health One text editor, but Microsoft Word. So if you open it with Microsoft Word, you will not be able to send it directly by email, though you will be able to do a spell checker on it, for example. However, we can solve that problem by allowing the user to right-click on the archive document that's going to be opened by Word and going down uh, here and open with the X internal text editor. So we can even, if it's normally open by Word, we can open it with the text editor and then send it by email. This is really a nice feature. Or save. If you are using Microsoft Word to open these RTF files, it might be worth your while changing it permanently to open with the Health One text editor. To do that, you click on Tools, Options, Multimedia Association, and down here it says use Health One to display RTF documents. Just tick that box and OK. So now that's changed to Health One Text Editor. It should be open by always by the Health One Text Editor, and you can send it by Health Mail again. However, if you want to do a spell check on a document, you can, if it's opened by the Text Editor, right click and open with Microsoft Word. And this is a very useful feature because a lot of people use this. And if I hit the F7 key in Word, this is a standard function of Word, is the spell checker in Microsoft Word. And I can go through my Microsoft Word and uh, test my spelling. So I can ignore that and I can go down through stuff and check my spelling. And when I'm finished with that, I can make changes as I want. Exit the Word document, save it, and it'll be saved back into the document which I can open with the Health One text editor, and I can send that with those little changes in it via Health Mail. So, how to configure all of this? You must first configure your Health Mail by, while opening a Quicklet, click on Configure Health Mail. And all you have to do with that then is to put in your email address and your password. In our case, all the doctors have individual email addresses and they go something like rory.odriscoll at healthmail.ie or john.smith at healthmail.ie. They're all very easy to remember. But we also have a practice healthmail account, which is called odriscollpractice.gp at healthmail.ie. So we put that in and we put the password in. And if we click on save this for all users in the organization, then by default, when everybody is sending an email, they'll be sending it from their practice email, not from their personal email. And this should only be done once. And it's as simple as that to set it up. If you're outside of the text editor and you want to set it up, you can click on tools, options, internet and you can configure your email options down at the bottom of the internet settings configure health mail which is exactly the same as, as that you can also configure direct mail which is the subject of another video where we use your own email and not use health mail we don't recommend that because of data protection issues if you want to edit the uh, email address book uh, and you can do so when you have a, a a document open and you're sending it you can 
edit the email address book here, but that's a bit awkward if you just want to do it without sending a letter. So you can actually do that with this button here in Health One, which is your Manage Associated Databases. Down at the bottom of this, we will have included an email addresses, and you can just uh, execute that, and you can uh, manage that. You can add an entry, update an entry, delete an entry. You can export all your entries, or you can import from another address book that you have exported your Outlook address book, or something like that. That works. So to summarize the configuration, to configure the actual emails, you can go to Tools, Options, Internet. And down here you can configure your health mail. To actually edit the address book, you can click on this here, Manage Associated Databases, and go down to the bottom to your email addresses and you can edit it there. The next thing I need to discuss is sending the whole patient file to another practice by Health Mail. You can already in Health One for many years print the entire patient file out as you know and give it to the patient. So to export the patient file, you can have the patient file open or not and click on File, Export via Health Mail. And when you do that, you can send the current transaction in PDF or Health One format or the complete HCR in PDF format or in Health One format. So if you're sending it in Health One format, the, it's to another practice that has Health One and they can import it or you can send it to a non-health one practice in just a PDF format via health mail. You can also do this from the selector by just highlighting the patient file, clicking on export, send patient file by health mail, and in this case you get the complete HCR. Do you want to send it in PDF format or health one format? And you send, it creates a PDF file with every single thing in it from the patient file. And it opens up the health mail dialog. This is the Joan Baez patient file. And you can view the patient file with that button. Not only does it print out all the patient notes, but it also prints out any of your archived documents, such as this document plus the picture. So if I close that, and I again send it to whoever I like. Uh, let's send it to Rory O'Driscoll at Healthmail. And I will just send it. That document is now sent to uh, Rory O'Driscoll. Now, as the recipient, uh, Rory O'Driscoll, I can open up my Outlook or my own email, and I can see that I have got this letter from about Joan Baez, and I have got the uh, patient file from Joan Baez. Sometimes, if you want to see if the patient has, if the uh, health mail has rejected this letter for example if the email you're sending it to is not compatible with health mail then health mail will send your uh, health mail account a message saying it's undeliverable so uh, this will not be recorded in health one because it's outside of health one however we have just given you a, a shortcut to the health mail app here in help health mail so if you just click that, it's a shortcut to your health mail app. And the health mail email address in this is the one you have already configured. So if uh, health, if the doctor who uh, you sent the letter to send you a reply, you can see it here. Uh, and if health mail rejects it, you will see it also here. You will not see it within health one. So finally, uh, in summary, this is version 8.6, which isn't released yet, but will be shortly. And the use of health mail to send referral letters. This is not health link, this is health mail, uh, such as a quick letter. We can also send the patient HCR. In order to use it, you must have a health mail email address and you must have health one version 8.6. Thank you, that's the end of this recording.